Cloud versus Roy. I was correct about the Roy. Two Japanese anime swordsmen going at it on Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's see how this starts. So we're already seeing some nice retreats from Shadow Wolf. Just weaving around Frank's movement with some aerials. But Frank saying that he wants to even this game up, getting some nice aerials in return. Looks like both of these two are actually moving around the stage pretty quickly here. Still fooling each other out. Is that going to be an early stock here for Shadow Wolf X? And it is that limit cross slash. Nerfed significantly from Smash 4, but still enough to take that stock. This is exactly what Shadow Wolf wants. He wants to be in this early lead, piling on damage with these aerials. Frank is going to have to come up with a response quick. So I think the issue Papa Frank is having here is his movement's fine, but he's just not able to find a way to penetrate this zone, this aggressive zone that Shadow Wolf is creating, missing the punish there on the up B, but able to get the punish there. That will definitely seal the I don't even think that forward air was necessary, but Frank felt it in his gut. And that's going to even up the stock count, but Shadow Wolf still at a pretty considerable lead here. How is Papa Frank going to adapt? Those up air is going to build on some nice damage, almost looking like Cloud himself. I really find it interesting, the Shadow Wolf's playstyle. Like I was mentioning earlier, how you can play him hyper aggro or super defensively. Shadow Wolf seems to be a clean mix between the two. Nicking Groy with another limit cross slash, this time not going to KO, lower percent and from center stage. Oh, wow. So that's going to be a really early KO there for Papa Frank. That's exactly what he needed to find himself back in the lead. But can he hold on to this lead? That's the real question here. Because Shadow Wolf showing that he is no stranger to being able to take stocks in a convincing manner. Okay, the forward throw. Going to set up for stage positioning for Frank. But Shadow Wolf, oh, wow. That read. That read, I feel like was pixels away from connecting, and that is going to be devastating for Shadow Wolf X as he gets downaired into oblivion. Wow, what looked like such a convincing lead at the start for Shadow Wolf X just immediately got turned around by Papa Frank's explosive Roy play. And I do not think it was Cloud that was the problem there. I don't even know if it was the stage that was the problem. I think Frank just got a ton of momentum, and Shadow Wolf wasn't able to adapt back in time. So let's see, is he going to take a little bit of a breather here? We're going to see Krom versus Marth. Wow, so we went from Roy versus Cloud to the Battle of the Ancestors here. This is very surprising on both accounts, I think, on Papa Frank's side, because that Roy victory was a two-stock. Like, that was pretty convincing. Oh, and now they're not going to do it. But the Marth... Marth is not a character you see every day in Smash Ultimate. It's really cool to see more representation of this character. I'm just wondering what Shadow Wolf had in mind that made him want to go Marth over Cloud in this matchup. It is not working out for him at the moment because he is down a considerable amount of percent. Papa Frank looking very confident with the stage control that he has. Wow, the forward tilt is going to do it. I don't know if Shadow Wolf could have DI'd that better, but either way, that is going to be so crucial here. Almost looking like a mirror of what happened last game. Shadow Wolf's going to have to strike back in quickly. This Marth. Pop Frank getting that solid parry. I think Krom is just so fast, especially with the way Papa Frank's been moving around the stage. Oh, wow, but that's going to be a gimp. But yeah, Krom is just so fast that I don't know how consistently Shadow Wolf is able to get this Marth tipper spacing. I don't think we've really seen any tippers in this game so far. He's going to have to start spacing just a little better, the down smash. I wonder if I was missing foot or not, but either way, he is going to find himself down the stock. His winner's bracket stock against Papa Frank. You do not want to go to losers this early here at Hat. There's so many killers. Does Shadow Wolf have anything to say about this? Oh, wow. Up Bs from both players. Papa Frank surprisingly able to connect. Oh, the counter, wow, okay, so Papa Frank's spacing around that counter was pixel perfect. 
and Shadow Wolf, oddly enough, not opting to go for the counter edge guard again, but will he do it here? He will, but what did it work? I don't want to call it bad luck or anything, but that's just so disheartening to be in that situation. Sh what should be in Shadow Wolf's eyes, a guaranteed KO just slipped away from him multiple times. Papa Frank with a double two stock after looking pretty down at the start of game one there. What an impressive showing. Shadow Wolf came up short. Now we're gonna have to see if he could run it through the loser's bracket. So I think what we saw there was just two very different sides to the sword heavy metagame that we've been seeing emerge in Smash Ultimate. On Papa Frank's side, we just had a very movement-based 